you may be wondering what it is that you're looking at here. Well, for a long time I've been meaning to build a CB2 sound mod for my PET 2001 computer. And I've been putting it off for a long time, but more recently I started playing around with one of these. This is a TTL to RS-232 voltage converter. And I uh, had this hooked up to the PET kind of in a makeshift manner to connect up to a serial devices, modems and uh, Raspberry Pi, etc. So I picked up this uh, project kit. This is a uh, user port connector, prototyping board, and a plastic shell all in one kit. So I figured everything would fit in here and I decided to put it all together in one package. We have a Pezio speaker here that goes through a uh, headphone jack. Signal comes from CB2 pin M and uh, goes to the switch. And then from the switch it goes through a 1K resistor to the headphone jack and then from the headphone jack to the Pezio speaker. This is wired in so that when a uh, jack is plugged in here. It disconnects the PZO speaker. I also decided that it would be nice to be able to listen to the cassette data as it's being played. So that is here on pin 6. That goes to a 10K resistor to the other side of the switch. So this switch lets you select whether you're listening to the cassette or to uh, the CP2 sound. And then we also have CB2 and pin C connected to the RS-232 to TTL level converter. The uh, level shifter here requires 5 volts, which is not, believe it or not, is not available on the user port. So, I have to provide 5 volts from somewhere else, and I went ahead and used a micro USB connector to do that. I used a Dremel tool to cut openings in the shell here for the various connectors headphone connector, the switch, and the USB connector here, and the 9-pin uh, RS-232 connector. Connecting to the PET is pretty simple. Just plug it into the user port. Make sure you don't plug it into the IEEE port because it will fit there. If all you want to do is listen to the audio, you don't need to do anything else, but to use the RS-232 port, you do need to connect it up to a power source. I already have a cassette port adapter to tap 5 volts off the cassette port. I built this for another project, but it has a standard USB cable, so I can use that to plug into the USB power connector on the side here. Here's a quick demo with the switch in the sound position. Now I have the source switch in the cassette position, so we can hear the data as it's loading. That's the lead-in tone. You hear a break there. That's the short name, and then another lead, and then the data. The headphone jack isn't necessarily for headphones, but for powered speakers. So I'll flip it to the audio position and plug this speaker in here. So when it's coming out the powered speaker, we have much more control over the volume. I've got pet term loaded. We'll set the options here and we're getting echo from the modem. I have it connected to my US Robotic Sportster here.
that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.